Well, we're heading home. Peace out. See you next time, America. Oh, we've made it to the final newscast. We're heading home now. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Let's start with some sports. Yo, what's going on, Yodi family? We have arrived in Steelville. Franklin there, he's discombobulated from his great map. L I just took an absolute dubbing to in, in the shadow boxing to match him. Wyatt! 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 Wyatt Kramer! Wyatt Kramer, come here! Come here! How does it feel to hit this season's first home run and for it to be a three-run shot? Oh man, it feels great. Well, Alf, get out of here. How do you feel about Wyatt Kramer's home run? Feel good. First one of the year. <laughs> After intimidation by Chris's double and Wyatt's home run, they're talking to this man saying, Oh God, we need to get him out. Logan! Wave! Wave! Yeah! Talk to the trailer, Mike. Oh, one sec, one sec. Let me. Let's go. You're at a 77 degree. Why are you looking at it? Guys. Do you have something to watch? Actually, yeah, I do. Let's check out this this month's fine art section. This is the OMS and OHS band concert. <laughs>
Hi guys, um, welcome to the choir concert of Rise and Shine. Passengers, welcome aboard. If you guys could please buckle in and fasten your seatbelts, make sure you stay in your seat for the entirety of the trip. At this time, if you could please turn your attention to the monitors, we are going to be playing our in flight clubs portion. Gosh, this flight is endless. Hey, I heard some stuff happened at the other schools in the district. Wanna take a look? Oh yeah, sure. Let's check that.
and just wake up. We have other stuff to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the cast of Breakout. Now that Breakout is finished, we don't have an episode for the end of the May newscast, so uh, we're going to do a little interview here and look back at some of the things from previous episodes. So, And there were so many people that liked the episode 3 basketball montage scene. Have you had people ask you about that? Honestly, that was probably one of my favorite episodes just because, I mean, it was just fun to film, all these funny shots, I mean... It was just fun filming it, and people usually say they talk about like the Slim Jim part of that one, like where did it come from? It's like oh, just Slim Jim, I don't know, protein give you a boost, and then it kind of just evolved from that. And um, I don't know, yeah, that that video is probably definitely my favorite one to film. So, do you guys see yourselves continuing to make creative content like this, or maybe in another avenue? after you graduate from high school? Well, I'm going to college for theater, like an acting track, so I'm going to continue to perform. I'm going to be going to college for film, uh, so hopefully there I'm just going to be able to continue doing stuff like this. So I don't actually plan on continuing my uh, career in film or acting. <laughs> uh, it was funny because in the, the second to last episode when we're split up and whatnot and I'm in that dark room, uh, I, we brought up Dutch angles, which is basically just an angle where you turn the camera, you know, just like a little bit off centered. Um, and that's what it is. And it, it was so funny because I brought that up to Austin like three years ago, what Dutch angles were, because I was watching Thor and uh, like every shot in that movie is a Dutch angle. And it, it was driving me crazy. So I told Austin about it. And so when we were doing it, Austin was like, Dutch angle? I was like, I was like Dutch angle. <laughs> um, so then in episode four, I started putting music, and I was like, wow, this like actually ups it so much now. Uh, and then from there, you know, in the next ones, I was like, okay, I'm going to try to pick music that fits the mood as well as possible, and I, uh, I'm going to find sound effects and all of this and that just to like make the experience uh, just pop more and come at you more. Uh, and I think like it's insane how much I think that affected. I mean, I couldn't imagine this last episode, even with how well we shot it and all of that how well everything went if there was no music in this last episode or any sound effects it would have been been yeah it would have been terrible like um with that said down the road is breakout officially over yes i think breakout is over for the time being for the time being for the time being for the time being, maybe in 10 years, we'll, we'll see special. some. I have had chats with some people about it, um, but I'm not going to say anything. Any advice that you guys would have to whoever does the next series, whatever the next series would be? I would say just definitely have fun with it. Like, I don't think it'd be nearly the same experience if it wasn't with, like, I mean, Austin and Brayden because it really made it fun. Uh, to get more technical, uh, I'm gonna tell you that every <laughs> every frame counts, especially whenever you are like combining frames. Uh, it's the difference between a smooth transition and uh, a short one, or uh, a sloppy one, I mean. Uh, it's just like a few frames, so like just hopefully, whoever you are, you are very par particular. Oh, rewatch most of our episodes a lot probably more of the 
episode three and on mostly just look at the angles that we capture and the lighting and just everything that goes with shooting a good series happens with the camera work so well thank you guys and uh congrats and good luck on your future endeavors hey what was that hand thing about i don't know also honestly i have no clue Casey's has been open up for about three weeks now, and they've been getting a lot of business, including me. And Dollar Tree and Family Dollar is just right around the corner. All they need finished is just the interior and the sign. On the beauty side of things, a new salon just opened in Onto called Resilience. Right across from Joe's Tires. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please stay in your seats, we are preparing to land. Oh man, it's almost over. Soon we'll be returning home. Yeah. But now that I think about it, it's not just over for us. It's also the seniors last year. I think about that. Why don't we look at some of their activities this month? Yo everybody, we are here in the small gym. I had enough film time with Breakout. I don't need the only two going to Mizzou. Yeah, here you come. Gonna say hi to our boys. There's Bryce. Hey, so there's no prizes. There's no. Oh. So long, Owens of a High. <laughs> it's Josie Wilka. And Braden Kibler. And I just want to say, always be yourself because everyone else sucks really, really, really bad. And I'd like to say, watch Breakout. I'm Ella Geller, and I just want to say goodbye to Owens of a High School and remind you, beware of Mr. Gellert. Hi, my name's Eric Lotman. Goodbye, OHS. I'm going to miss you next year. Hi everyone, my name is Lacey Clark. I would like to say goodbye to my cousin Olivia. You are my world, I love you so very much. My name is Larry Piazza, and I'm just gonna be saying goodbye to all uh, the kids on the RTI bus and some fellow classmen. Hi, I'm Austin Long. Um, I would like to say my goodbyes to uh, my football coaches and my baseball coaches and Miss Henny. Love you, Miss Henny. Hey, I'm Derek Marquez, AKA Papi Chulo. Uh, I just want to thank everyone, every teacher out there working hard, you know, preparing us for the f our futures. 
Uh, I want to thank my coaches, uh, certain teachers, you know, Miss Q, uh, Miss Hendricks, uh, who else? Mr. T, Coltman, Daniel, you know, all those that I had in the past. I, sw I really appreciate it for everything you guys do and sacrifice for us. Um, you know, Derek Marquez signing out. Peace. I'm Bryce Payne. Uh, I'd like to say goodbye to all my coaches and the lunch ladies. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm Hunter Boyer. I'm going to say bye to my coaches and my few underclassmen friends. Hi, I'm Kiana Guerrero, and I would like to say goodbye to the soccer and basketball team along with Bestie Grace. I love you so much. And Ms. Pyle and Ms. G, thank you both for helping me through these years. I'm Kaylee Fisher, and I'd like to say goodbye to the cheer and dance team and my coaches. Thank you, and I'll miss you. All right, guys. I'm Lucas, and this is my goodbye speech. All right. Goodbye. I'm Noah, and I'd like to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye. I'm Maddie, and I would like to say goodbye to all of the wonderful friends that I've made throughout the years. I'm Marina, and I would like to go say goodbye to all my theater and art friends. My name's Aiden Walters. I'm a senior here. I just want to say goodbye to Miss Henny for being the only Miss Henny in my life. All to my junior friends, and I just want to say goodbye, guys. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm Molly Nook, and I want to say goodbye to everyone I'm going to unfollow after May 19th. We would like to say goodbye to all of the friends and teachers that we've met throughout high school. But most importantly, Ken, Ken Tucker. Tucker! Goodbye. I'm not going to see you again. I don't want to. New journey, new journey right now, okay? Love you guys. Nope, before we leave, let's look at some memories from this year.